Hi everybody, this is Craig with ProCam. How are you doing today? Today we're going to talk about Sony A7 series cameras. Some of the confusion, why they're awesome, why they're a little bit different, and why you may want one. Anyways, there are basically three, now four cameras in the A7 series of camera bodies. There's the A7 II, a7R2, and now the also R3, and the A7S2. Let's talk about the differences between the two. Sony does things a little bit differently. If you look at them, they all look the same. You can't even really tell the difference just by glancing at these cameras. But this is what's going on. The Sony A7 II is basically the still photographer's entry-level full-frame mirrorless camera from Sony. Phenomenal piece of kit. You throw a battery grip on one of these bad boys, very sexy in the hand, awesome performance. The A7R2 and the, also the new A7R3, R stands for resolution. Extremely high resolution cameras, okay? 48 point something megapixels. I don't want to get bogged down in the weeds with numbers. There's plenty of other guys who've done YouTube videos. I go through all of that. Just want to keep it in generalities and why you may want one over the other. But the R2 is when we want really, really high resolution. We're making large prints. We're doing commercial photography, that sort of thing. Then there's the A7S2. S stands for sensitivity. Unbelievable low line performance. The guys who are going nuts with us are the guys who are doing 4K video. Now what's unique to the Sony series is their mirrorless cameras, and mirrorless is the future, not a doubt in my mind. Look, no mirror. There's my sensor wide open. They all use electronic viewfinders, or EVFs as everybody likes to say it. Um, when I first started looking at these cameras, and having been a traditional photographer for years, 30 plus years, I went, they're toys! until I started playing with them and found out they're amazing. As I make exposure adjustments, I'm seeing it happen in the viewfinder. I, all my information's in my viewfinder. I take a picture, it previews in my viewfinder. I'm not chimping left and right. Um, now the first thing that happened when the A7 series first came out, everybody went, there's not enough lenses. There's not enough lenses. We need lenses. Well, they're here. Zeiss makes glass for these cameras. There's the Sony G Master lenses. And now, here's something really exciting. If you own lenses with a red stripe on them, I'm going to take this Sigma MC11 lens adapter, pop it on my Sony body. I'm going to grab a Canon L series lens, pop it on my Sony. Now, all my Canon glass runs on the Sony body just fine. Now if you talk to Sigma, they're going to say, nope, you can only do that with our art series lenses in Canon mount. Which also works. But now glass selection for this platform is endless. Now another thing Sony's done that's really exciting is E-mount. E-mount has kind of become across their platform. So E-mount lenses for these cameras will also run on their crop sensor bodies or APS-C lens cameras, which are the A6000 series, A6000, 6300, 6500, but also will run on their pro camcorders, FS7, SS5, etc., all using the same lens mount. So with that said, Sony also has some great deals going on until March 31st. We can save up to $500 if you trade in a lens or a working digital camera or that sort of thing. Check the ProCam website for all the details on that. But other than that, friends, how cool is that?